All right, hey snowboarder friends, I just want to update you uh, on my ongoing experiment. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, something is definitely bleeding. So, uh, this is about the Speed Wax, right, by Swix, Speed Brick. This, so I had the Arbor Draft and I was sliding out on the PVC pipe. Excuse me, sit down, you weren't called. And I was like, what's the deal? Part of it might be that it's only a six inch PVC pipe and that's a narrow, I mean, even rails, I don't know, right? But I'm sliding out. So I went back to the signal, uh, the signal park board with uh, no wax on it and had, it was slower. It was more controllable, manageable. Now that's on a PVC pipe, right? So took, went with my kid today and was riding some boxes and the boxes are typically slow, like, scary slow like you're gonna fall off if you don't get a lot of speed on them because it's 40 degrees out right with this speed brick it was still fast do you really think that oh wow they just they really just vanish huh oh that's rude i was impressed so to sum up this is basically uh the Speed brick may be good for someone who is uh, looking to, if you're looking spring riding or you're, I don't know, not doing boxes or rails, or maybe you feel like boxes or rails are too slow, but what kind of wax you put on your board, yeah, I'm switching back to the Arbor Draft, just so you know. Um, what kind of, what kind of uh, wax you have on your board, and if you're riding in the backyard, and you're on a PVC, which is typically more slippery than a box, because a box, I think, gets chewed up by skis um, and edges more than anything else, right? Uh, so with that being said, you might not want to use, you got to check your wax, right? Um, and also detuning your edges may be something you want to look into. Uh, this board, this signal has detuned edge, because I bought it from a ski shop in Tahoe off eBay. and. Uh, I like the board, but I found I couldn't, I didn't, I had less control. Now this is a 156 and uh, the, the Arbor Draft is a 151, right? And some of the other YouTube video guys that I watch ride, they ride a 149. Now they may be shorter, I'm 6'3", right? So uh, it's still the swing weight. Everyone asked me, what about the nose? Why is the nose on the Arbor Draft, right? Why is it? flat okay so this is to reduce the amount snow just came off of it this is to reduce the amount of swing weight right so when you go to spin 360s and whatnot just so you realize how, what the difference is between a 156 and a 151 uh, also this will be interesting let's see if we can do this real quick you can see the parabolic rocker in this compared to the flat camber. This is a flat camber board. I want to see. No, this is a camber. I'm wrong. This is a camber. Maybe a flat camber. It could be wrong. Anyways, the whole point is, is that, uh, even though there's only like literally an inch difference between these two boards, there's something in my riding that is different. Um, oh, I was gonna put this back. To, I was gonna put it back so you can see. All right, both flat on the ground. Yeah, so that's the difference right there. Right, you can see the the signal park versus this, and so riding this technically would be like riding a longer board. They say because they cut this rounded nose off, which if you're doing like blunts where you ride up and stand on the tail, or you know, if you can do it on your nose, um, I know on skateboarding it's called a blunt, but I don't know what it's called in snowboarding. But you look at it, one is, the spoon is a lot bigger on this one. Yeah, it's comparable. If you line them both up, it's comparable. Anyways, I don't know, the Signal Park, I had a good time riding it in the backyard uh, with it not waxed and riding the, uh, the PVC pipe because it was slower. Then I went and waxed it today to see how it would run on the hill. And 
uh, when I was doing nose rolls and I'm practicing uh, 360s without like just on on the flat on a well on an incline um, I was able to spin it good and the video will be included in this so you can see me riding it but I'm, I'm gonna ride tomorrow do I ride every day I try uh, I take two hours out of my day and make sure that it's something this one also has the uh, the grip tech on it so um, I don't know if I'm done with the signal I know I'm done with the name dropper I don't know when I'm gonna sell it um, it's a good board both the signal and those are great boards it's just for me how they ride really is going to be what I want you know so here we are changing out bindings for the fourth day in a row you guys would think I'm like musical chairs now we taped where our bindings were so guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go one out wider one out wider so that's where it was let's line these up this should be interesting because I'm still seeing borders ride and I saw a kid do a tame dog today right or a front flip I was impressed with it and he had a little bit wider stance so again I'm experimenting every time and I'm enjoying it because it just it, it it feels better every time I do something different or I get different results so uh, not to make this video too long uh, yeah this speed brick if you need to be riding or if you're riding in the spring like this uh, that speed brick by Swix is it called speed brick I better make sure I'll put a link down below yeah speed brick by Swix north and it says negative 4 Fahrenheit to 21 Fahrenheit and negative 6 Celsius to 20 negative 20 degrees Celsius right I'm riding this in 40 degrees and it is fast it is so fast it is like whoo right um, problem is is that when you're trying to learn how to ride rails and boxes and everything like that you don't necessarily want speed so I'm gonna wear this board out of wax riding the park the next few days instead of in the backyard because the backyard is starting to melt I don't know what I'm gonna do I did see a video on riding in the summer some guy got AstroTurf and uh, hosed it down and built a box I'm building a box too um, instead of the six inch PVC pipe because it, it seems like you can get better balance on a box and then transition that to a rail or PVC pipe that you get up higher um, I'm not having the best luck on the PVC pipe with my balance and everything so once again experimenting so I'm gonna put the bindings back on this uh, and we're gonna go from there and yeah that's what's gonna happen we're moving one out. I'll be riding on AstroTurf in the backyard which will be a fun adventure this summer too but the more you practice the better you get and I don't know if I'm getting better but we'll look back on these videos one day and say oh look he did get better hopefully yeah so I'm moving the bindings one out and that's it all right stay tuned for our next video probably be tomorrow <laughs> Sonic.